Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Sada Flow. This is day six of our seven day yoga series where we'll be building our focus and attention. Make sure you're in an open space and you have an open heart and an open mind. Let's get started. All right, everybody, let's begin seated and take a moment to rock back and forth on your sit bones and just see where you're connected to the earth. Great way to get grounded. The beginning of our practice, as you may have noticed a pattern. Very good. With each inhale, growing a little bit taller. And each exhale, rooting down a little bit more. As we're going to be focused on your mental attention in this practice, I want you to be really focused on your breath, of course. Focus on where you are on the mat. As the twists and entanglements that we'll be doing will and may confuse the mind. So just stay focused and move slowly. Bring the hands together at heart center, pressing the palms together, and set a little intention for your practice today. It will be a challenging practice today. Very good. Inhale, let the thumbs rise to the forehead, sealing in that intention. And exhale, press the palms back to heart center. Very good. Release the hands off to the sides and the eyes can flutter open at this point. Right now, I'd like you to just root down through both hands, through the fingertips here. So you're tensing up the palm of the hand and allow that to grow you a little bit taller. Crown the head reaching higher, but the shoulders are still drawing down. So everything's feeling a little bit more engaged here. Very good. And slowly releasing the pressure on the hands. Inhale, sweep the hands high overhead. Then exhale, let that right hand come across to the left knee. Inhale, grow a little bit taller. And exhale, bend into the right side. So the left side ribs are opening up here. Very good. We'll be doing a lot of twists today. If it feels good, you can look under that left armpit. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release and unwind. Very good. Inhale, sweep the hands high overhead. Then exhale, that left hand comes to the right knee. Right hand comes a little bit higher. Inhale and exhale, bending into that left hand side. Very good. Left ribs are expanding. And if it feels good, you can look under that uh, right armpit here. Inhale and exhale, slowly unwind, coming back to center. Very good. Finding your way into a tabletop position. Then we're going to um, extend the feet back straight into a full plank position. Finding everything nice and steady here, nice and strong. Pressing the hands strong into the mat so the spine lifts above the shoulder blades. We're going to gently let the heels rock from side to side so the hips can kind of follow, but keep even distribution through the hands. Very good. Inhale at the top. Exhale, swish to one side. Inhale at the top and exhale, swish to the other side. Very good. Couple more. Very good. Inhale back to a full plank. Then exhale, press back downward facing dog. Very good. First down dog of this practice. Gently bend one knee at a time. Very good. 
just exploring what feels good to you, getting warm, getting ready to move. Very good. Little bend in the knees, gets the tailbone a little bit higher, and just bend a little bit deeper into this down dog. So the knees are almost coming as low as the heels are. Nice and strong through the arms. Long spine. Belly pulls up and in. Very good. Inhale, press to a plank. Exhale, press back with a deep bend in the knee. So it's a little down dog here. It's almost like a lifted puppy pose. Inhale, press forward to a plank. And exhale, press all the way back. Very good. Then straighten the knees. Finding down dog once more. Very good. Take the feet a little bit wider. And as we start to set up to some twists and some binds here, I want you to just stay focused, allowing the gaze to focus in on something steady. And without judgment, noticing it. So we're not saying, oh, that's a blue thing over there. Oh, that's a green thing over there. We're just letting the gaze focus on it. So root down through that right hand and then reach that left hand all the way back, finding a clasp on the um, right shin or calf or maybe just the thigh all the way up here. Wherever you can grab to use that leverage and look under the right armpit. Very good. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release that pressure on that leg and reach back for a full down dog here. Feet are still nice and wide on the mat. And root down to that left side and reach that right hand back, finding a clasp on that shin or ankle or maybe just the thigh and using that leverage to look under the left armpit here. So it's twisting. Nice and strong, nice and steady. Find something really still to focus your gaze on. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly unwind, pressing back to down dog. Very good. Pull to a plank. Drop the knees and press back to a child's pose. Hands reach high overhead. Very good. Little rest before we continue, making sure the gaze and the focus keeps us where we need to go. But that doesn't mean we don't need little rests. Press the palm to get palms together here. And lift the fingers and hands behind the back. So right behind the neck here. It's a little reverse prayer. Just opening up the shoulders a little bit more. Really great work. Inhale. And exhale, release back down. Pull into a plank. Inhale. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Great work. Let's root down through that right foot and inhale, sweep that left foot high overhead. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Carefully place that foot between your hands, setting up for crescent on this side. Inhale, hands sweep high overhead. Very good. Inhale, grow a little bit taller. Then exhale, twist open to the side. Right fingertips reach forward, left fingertips reach back. Very good. Instead of letting that right hip drop, pull it back up. Everything squeezes to a midline, yet we're twisting on the upper body. Now you can gaze all the way back behind you. How does that feel? Staying steady. Finding something really still to look at. Very good. Forgiving yourself if you're finding this, this a little bit tippy. Dropping the back hand, flipping the front palm, and gentle reverse here. Very good. Exhale, teeing open again. Inhale, hands reach high overhead. Beautiful work. Exhale, left hand reaches to the left hip. Inhale, right hand reaches higher overhead. Exhale, hinge forward. Right elbow comes to the outside of that left knee, finding a twisted prayer position in this crescent. Great work. Gazing off to the side. If you're tempted to look down, that's fine. Just see where you can move your gaze, where you find more steadiness still. 
long spine. Very good. Then start to rock up on that right foot. So the heel lifts a little higher. Then we're going to step forward. You can take a couple steps if you need to or float that foot all the way to twisted chair. Sinking the hips back, drawing that right knee back because it wants to press forward. Long spine. Very good. Inhale. And exhale. Press to center chair. Inhale. And exhale. Press to mountain. Great work. Rooting down through that left foot. We're going to wrap that right foot up and over, finding an eagle pose, just as the arms wrap as well. Sinking back, sinking down. Maybe that foot wraps around the calf, maybe it doesn't. Very good. Sinking a little bit deeper. Finding gaze past your hand. You might be tempted to look down or look at the hand, look past the hand. Shoulders draw down, elbows lift, palms press away from the face. Very good. Inhale. And exhale. Press up and out of the pose. Inhale. Sweep the hands high overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Bend the knees. Plant the hands. And exhale. Jump back to Chaturanga or step back. Inhale, low cobra or up dog. Exhale, back down. Press with the hands, press back, downward facing dog. Great work. So in these twisting poses, you're noticing that the gaze is focusing the body. The breath is also focusing the body. So stay with it. Let all other distractions go. You have the power to make this practice everything it's capable of being for you rooting down through that left foot inhale sweep that right foot high overhead exhale squeeze knee to nose and then step forward finding crescent on this side slowly pressing up inhale sweep the hands high overhead very good inhale here Growing a little bit taller, then exhale, twist open. Right hand reaches back, left hand reaches forward. And instead of letting that left hip drop, draw it back upright. Very good. Maybe gazing back at those right fingertips. Or maybe just gazing across to the side, trying not to look down at the ground. Very good. Now dropping that right hand to the thigh, flip the left palm, sweep it high. Being gentle, reversing this. Then exhale, T open again. Inhale, hand sweep high, squaring. Very good. Left hand, oh sorry, right hand releases to the right hip. Left hand reaches higher to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward, dropping that left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, finding twisted prayer on this side. Very good. Long spine, gazing off to the side. Very good. The horizon is our friend here. It focuses our body, focuses our mind. It tells us where we are much better than when we look down. Very good. But now I'd like you to look down and then take a couple um, rocks forward, that left heel rocking higher. Take a couple steps if you need to or float that left foot all the way forward, finding a twisted chair. Very good. Long spine. Hips sink back. Left knee is drawing back. Very good. Slowly releasing. Inhale, come to center chair. And exhale, press all the way up to mountain. Great work. All right, we're going to take our eagle pose on the other side, rooting down to that right foot this time. Left leg is going to wrap around and behind as you sink the hips back. And the arms are going to wrap as well. 
slowly moving legs squeeze together chest is opening and find something steady to look at here forgive yourself for any imbalances that you find and find that steady intensity in your practice let all other distractions go shoulders draw down elbows press up palms press away from the face very good inhale and exhale slowly unwind coming back to center inhale sweep the hands high overhead and exhale forward fold very good inhale to a flat back exhale fold bend the knees plant the hands inhale then exhale hop or jump back step back to chaturanga inhale low cobra or up dog exhale press to the hands press everything back downward facing dog great work you guys one more standing series so stay with me rooting through that right foot inhale sweep the left foot high overhead exhale squeeze it forward planting that foot finding crescent inhale sweeping the hands high then exhale airplaning the arms inhale grow a little taller exhale hinge forward finding and floating that right foot back finding that warrior three pose very good very great work inhale here and exhale drop that foot back down but a little bit closer to that front foot and we're going to cock that right foot off to the side just a little bit here so it's almost at a 45 degree angle hips square forward very good palms can press together behind the back or interlace behind the back or grab opposite elbows whatever feels good to you here pyramid pose inhale opening the chest then exhale hinging forward very good and when you can hinge no longer you can start to let the crown of the head reach down very good we're only here for a moment inhale rise back up to a flat back and exhale press all the way up to standing keeping this stance here very good all right hands come to the hips same idea inhale open the chest exhale hinge forward very good this time that right hand's going to drop down shoulders going to drop and you're going to pull this chest open to the side so we're going to twist open here and you can grab that shin if you'd like or if you have a block if you have it you don't need it opening everything to the side twisted triangle here revolved triangle very good finding steadiness and then exhale slowly unwind and press all the way up to standing very good step forward inhale sweep the hands high overhead exhale forward fold inhale to a flat back exhale fold bend the knees plant the hands inhale and exhale step or hop back to chaturanga inhale low cobra or up dog exhale press everything back downward facing dog great work we are almost there stay with me rooting through that left foot inhale sweep that right foot high overhead exhale sweep it forward plant that foot between your hands very good inhale rise up hands sweep high for crescent pose exhale finding airplaning the arms inhale grow taller exhale hinge forward and float that left leg back finding that warrior three pose on this side very good lots of energies here as that right leg is rooting down left leg is pressing back crown of the head is pressing forward shoulders are opening palms are pressing behind the body very good inhale 
And exhale, slowly release that foot down, come to standing. Very good. And just like on the other side, that left foot's going to rock out um, to about a 45 degree angle here. Hips square forward. Hands can be behind the back in any way that feels good to you. I like reverse prayer for my practice. Inhale, opening the chest. Then exhale, hinge forward. Keeping those hips squared forward. And when you can hinge no longer, start to let there be a gentle curve in the spine. Come around and the head reaches down. Very good. We'll only be here for a moment. Exhale. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale all the way up to standing. Very good. Hands come to the hips. Same idea. Inhale. Open the chest. Grow taller. Exhale. Hinge forward. Finding that flat back pose here. Very good. Now that left hand's going to drop. Finding the shin or maybe floating, whatever feels good to you. And that right shoulder is going to open up to the side. And depending on you, depending on your practice, you might tee open the arms completely if that feels good to you. But only do what feels right for your body. Very good. Couple more breaths right here. Inhale. And exhale. Square back. Inhale, rise all the way up. Very good. Step forward. Inhale, sweep the hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees and sink all the way back, finding your seat. Very good. Taking a moment to roll all the way onto your back. Very good. Gently rolling the knees in one direction. So you're rolling on the sacrum here. And then drawing the knees in another circle in the opposite direction. Very good. This was a challenging practice. It required a lot of effort and mental focus. Very good. Setting up for Shavasana. You deserve it today. Extending the legs straight and wide on the mat. Arms go off to the side. Palms open to the sky. Letting the breath sink you in a little bit deeper. Letting everything steady. And you can take this Shavasana as long as you'd like. And we'll see you tomorrow for day seven of the seven day yoga series. Namaste. Namaste.